Hi, this is Kathy Lee, Crafting with Kathy Lee. Thank you for popping by my channel. I just want to show you um, a real find I found at a recent vendor show I did. I did not realize that the show I booked for my Tula 12 stuff was also a flea market type um, event. And it was an in-person show. And I did go exploring because how can you not look at flea market finds for your crafting and paper crafting and junk journaling and all of that stuff. So let me show you what I found. I'm going to tie that in a knot. So this was at a booth where a lady had doll clothes and quilting stuff and so forth. So I'm going to set this out of the way and start pulling stuff out. She had these awesome, can you look at those? Awesome cardboard pieces with some gorgeous varieties of lace. I don't know why I need these colors. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But for sewing and definitely for junk journaling, these prints are gorgeous. So I had to get them. Um, they had prices of like, some of them were original type stuff and there were prices on them. But um, I picked a few and I figured I had about $10 worth. And she said, oh, $2. And it's like, okay, well, how much can I get for $10? And so she just started shoving stuff in here. That one's gorgeous. These are all just so pretty and not necessarily colors that I already have. I kind of have a lace and trim addiction, so I do have a lot, but I don't think I have, definitely not that one, definitely not those two. So there's a few more. That was just a random piece there that will look good on something. Um, here's another random piece that might have fallen off one because there is a pin in it. Put that up so my dogs don't get it. So, and then there was this big, wide, really wide pink that I thought might look really nice for an overlay or something. Okay, can you see how, why I was so excited when I ran across this booth? Again, there's pins on here, so I'm going to have to make sure I get the pins off of here so they don't end up on the floor. Because I did have one of my dogs who swallowed a sewing needle once and we had to have go to the vet and have it removed and it could have been really scary so this is another pretty rosy pink with ivory this is kind of a baby type thing but it would it actually might work on some of the projects I'm working on next week and look at that pretty green and then just that little piece there like I said, this lady was a doll clothes maker, or who they got it from, doll clothes. And look at that fun one. These are not all necessary colors I would have picked. Oh, I like that dusty blue, though. But she, like I said, she started grabbing stuff and throwing it in, saying you need more. And then this. These are not colors I would pick. But look at those rich almost boudoir type shades with the black and then more of this blue or maybe this isn't the same blue but more of the blue with the rose and again some of these are a little discolored but it really doesn't matter so I don't think and like I said I don't need lace I really like these ones too I don't need lace um but, I like that one too. But how can you resist a good deal? I can't. Oh, and there's a random piece of that green. Not sure, actually, I don't think this was on one. That's a really pretty piece. So there's that. And like I said, I think most of these were priced. She had priced at $2 a thing. And I've got all of these. And the scraps all of these for ten dollars so that was my flea market find and i don't need trim for a while so if you're out and about and you see a sign for a flea market and you're not really a flea market type 
um, you don't do antiques and stuff, you may want to stop by because you might be able to find some treasures like this for your crafting and your junk journaling. Thanks for visiting my channel, Crafting with Kathy Lee. If you would like, hit that like button. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Also, leave a comment and tell me, was there one of these that you just really loved? I can't even tell you which one's my favorite. I would say this one's pretty unique, but I just can't pick just one. They were also awesome. So thanks for stopping by. Come again soon.